Hi everybody, I'm back again with another episode of All Access Pass. And right now I have Dave with me, who is a manager for AI for developers at Google Cloud. And today we are going to talk about your favorite topic, generative AI. Hi Dave, how are you? Great. So Dave, you have been through so many sessions since today. You have been at workshops and you have been at sandboxes. And in general, at IO this year, it has been all about AI and generative AI to be specific. It's been, uh, it's been pretty exciting. Uh, I've never quite seen something like this. The interest by developers in generative AI has never been higher. Uh, I went to Iowa back in Shoreline, went to Miami, Amsterdam, and now here in Bangalore. And everywhere I've gone, there's been just this incredible level of excitement by developers wanting to actually use the products. Um, it's just, it's just, it's been amazing. And in general, you know, even before we release any documentation or any such things, we have been getting a lot of questions in our meetups via GDGs. Are there any documentations they can refer to while building for generative AI? Yeah, so I should, I should specify, I work in Google Cloud. And yes. Google Cloud has a whole host of products that we've been bringing to market. Starting about uh, Mar the March timeframe, March 14th up through now in June, we've been, right. every six weeks, every eight weeks, we've been rolling out products either for private preview, we've had a bunch come to GA. So it's docs, yes, but it's labs that we have available. It's access um, to the product itself. Uh, we've right. got training sessions that we've rolled out. Um, so we've really been sprinting to keep up with the interest by the developers. Coming back to generative AI with respect to Google Cloud, how can a developer get started on it? I think the most interesting thing from a developer standpoint is that you need to use the product. In other areas, you can go and do things like uh, you know, read the docs or maybe see right. a, a YouTube video. Here, you have to use the product. So a recommendation for any developer is just do it. Go and use the product today. We have these workshops that are available. Right now, there's 15. In the next few months, we'll have 40 or so. Um, oh. Notebooks, we got a GitHub repo. Uh, that's the way to get started. So you could also do skills boost. We've got about 10 yes. different skills boosts or 10 different stages of a skills boost. But really, it's all about the repo. It's all about really getting your fingers on keyboard and, and actually doing it. Can you divulge a bit more into the products area that we're just talking about with oh, respect yeah. to Google Cloud for generative AI? Yeah. So we have come out with a handful of, um, of products. I could probably talk for hours. <laughs> Maybe you'll edit this out eventually on the, on the <laughs> tape, but um, on cloud, basically what we have is uh, two big areas. One is um, for people who want to use foundational models, it's something called model make. We use things like Palm 2 and then use other specialized models. We came out with three of them uh, recently. One's called Imagine, which is mm. for images, for for creating images. The second is Cody for code completion, code generation. And then um, third is called Chirp, which is for speech to text in 300 different languages. So that's model maker for people who are really interested in using uh, sort of foundational models and then right. either out of the box or extending it. And then the, the last thing is sort of Gen AI Studio. The, that gives you sort of quick access to uh, pre, pre can predetermined uh, models. Right. And then the last piece is something called Generative App Builder, which has enterprise search and conversational AI, so sort of uh, uh, bot creation. Thank you, thank you, Dave, for your time. And I hope you have rest of great IO Connect here today. It's been fantastic. Thanks for talking. Thank you. Yeah.